Hey everyone my name is Abhishek and welcome to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. So in today's video we are going to create this quick glitch effect inside of After Effects. You can use it to reveal text or logo whatever you want. So before I begin if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right so right now I'm in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition let's call this main width and height 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration 10 seconds just click on okay so now I'm going to create a new solid so right click new solid and let's make it black color and you can also call it bg for background just click on okay now you can probably lock this layer so that you don't accidentally move it so let's begin by adding our text and you can type whatever you want. So I'm going to type motion because why not? So let's select this and align it in the center of this comp. So if you're not able to see this panel, then go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now you can select this layer and let's move its anchor point in the center. So you can hold down the control key then double click on this icon and it will automatically move it to the center. So now we can start animating this. So let me just quickly scale this up. So let's set this to something like 110. So now let me just quickly zoom in and we are going to just simply randomly select any of the point and let's press Ctrl Shift T so that it will split the layer and let's move it further away. Now we are going to select this and just scale this and just place it at random places. Now you can move a couple of frames ahead. So let's move one frame and over here again press ctrl shift d to split the layer and let's select this one and i'm going to probably scale this up and let's place it somewhere around here let's move two frames and again ctrl shift d just randomly place your text wherever you want it's completely up to you you can probably overlap some of these texts something like this and let's place this one let's lower down its scale and just move it somewhere around here after that again just keep on doing it randomly until you get a different kind of look so let's place it somewhere around here and i'm going to probably stretch this a lot something like this and again Control shift t so we have this sort of look and let's set this to 500 by 500 so that it's back to its proportions and let me just quickly rotate it something like this and let's place it somewhere around here then Control shift t again and just make it smaller place it here and once again i'm going to align this to the center so somewhere around here let's add another cut point and after that I'm going to just simply match this last layer so that we have the final reveal at the end. So if I play back here you can see we have this sort of look. And again it's completely up to you. You can go around and just simply start moving different layers and it will give you different results. So let me just quickly select this and move it somewhere around here. Or maybe something like this. Yeah I think this is looking good. So we are done with the animation and let's see how you can tweak this more. So let's start adding some shapes to this so we can select the rectangle tool and again randomly just draw a shape and we are going to do the same thing with this as well. So at this point let's press Control shift T to split the layer and let's make it bigger just like this Control shift T and just simply randomly place it wherever you want. Let's make this vertical, something like this. Just keep on doing this. This is completely up to you. And here you can see we have this sort of look. So I think this is looking fine. And let's start adding some colors to this. But before that, let's select all of these layers except the background and just simply right click and click on pre-compose. You can call this text animation. Just click on OK. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer and duplicate it three times. 
and let's apply fill to these layers so just simply search for fill and just simply drag it over here let's copy this effect and apply it onto the other layers as well and for the second layer let's change the color to blue and for the third layer i'm going to set this to green so that we have this rgb kind of look and again i'm going to zoom in and just simply start moving this layers couple of frames ahead so that we have this sort of look and maybe let's move it somewhere around here also don't forget to select all of these layers and set their mode to add just like this so there you go we have this sort of look yeah i think this is looking good maybe if you feel like that these are too much then you can probably select few of these layers and then just move them closer just like this so i think yeah this is looking good now at the end what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply add an adjustment layer so right click just add an adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to apply a effect called time displacement so just search for it and apply it onto this layer so now this part is completely experimental so you can just play around with these values and you can get different type of results so first I'm going to just simply lower down its max displacement to something like negative 2 and let's slow down its time resolution to let's say 22 frames and yeah there you go now you can see we have this sort of look and maybe if you think that these are too much then you can probably delete few of these so let's delete this one so just play around with these values until you find something that looks good so yeah i think this one is looking good for me so yeah i'm going to stick with this so this is how you can create these kind of glitchy animations and instead of text you can use logos as well so all you have to do is just simply select your logo and just place it at different places just like we did with this text and add some shapes and after that pre-compose it apply some fill to this set their mode to add and just apply a time displacement and you will get some really nice results just like this you can also add some glow to this so this is how you can create these kind of glitchy text reveal animations so i hope you learned something from this video and if you want to support this channel then you can join my patreon page and you can support me over there also don't forget to subscribe and press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this so that's it for this video. My name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.